Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with the current favorites and I'm so excited to update you guys on some new things that I have been loving because I have a little bit of everything. I have some body care, lip products, blushes, skincare brushes. I even have some shoes and just all the things. So grab a snack, of course get cozy, and let's get into it and have some girl time. First things first, let's talk about some skincare brushes that I have been using for over a year and I don't know how I ever did my skincare without them. They're one of those things that once I started using them, I realized how much I actually love them. And I wanna give a huge thank you to Anissa Beauty for sponsoring this portion of today's video. You already know how much I love Anissa Beauty brushes. That's why I pretty much use this brush specifically in every single video because it is that good. It's the pinnacle foundation brush. The purple brushes, I always get questions about them whenever I don't mention them. And this is the brush. It is my number one favorite foundation brush. And in addition to this, I love the pinnacle body brush. This is amazing for all of your body products, your glowy products, especially in the summer. This is a must have. I love this brush. I just used it today. And the Eye Pinnacle brush. This is very underrated, but it's such a cute little detail brush that you can also use for your eyebrows as well. But now there's a new member to the Pinnacle family, and that is the Pinnacle Skin Brush. And I have been using this, like I said, for over a year. The first time that I ever showed it, I will pop a video of it or a screenshot of it right here. I got so many questions about this brush, and this is the brush. And now it is finally available when you guys are watching this video. But but this brush is incredible for all of your skincare products, but especially moisturizers and skin prep. I love everything about this because of that gorgeous patented shape. It's that triangle shape that just fits so seamlessly into every part of your face. And now we not only have a great foundation brush, but we have a skincare brush. And I know what you're thinking. Why do we need skincare brushes? That is such a waste. You can just use your hands. I know, because I used to say the same thing until I started using them. The main reason for using skincare brushes and why they are essential is the hygiene aspect of it. And I feel like this gets overlooked a lot in skincare. I know for me it did as well, but there's nothing worse than buying skincare products and then as you're applying things, getting products trapped under your nails. It's not only first like not hygienic, but it's also very wasteful. So now with the Pinnacle Skin Brush, you can use less product, save your product, and use the perfect amount by just using this brush in your routine. Another great thing about this brush is that your products are not gonna seep into the bottom of it. It's not gonna absorb any excess moisturizer or product that you're using. Because of the fibers, whatever you put on this brush, it's gonna sit perfectly on top and it's gonna go directly on your face in the most beautiful way because when you're applying this, it honestly feels like a spa. It's like an elevated skincare routine. So I also feel like it's really quick and easy. I know it kind of seems like a whole extra step, but I actually feel like it's really fast doing my skincare routine now with these brushes. I'm not using an excess amount of product. It's less messy. These brushes are also really easy to clean. And when I'm done every day, I just store them right here in my little brush cup, which I also love. Very easy to clean, very travel friendly. I've traveled with this many times and it's literally the best. So let's talk about some other brushes that I love in my skincare routine. The cleansing brush. My husband also loves this. He uses it every night. It's gentle, but it's definitely a nice step up from just using your fingers to apply your cleanser, especially in the evening when I have a full face of makeup on. I want everything to come off, and this does a really nice job at removing any excess product. It's gentle enough where you can actually massage your eye area with this and remove any extra eye makeup lash glue, and it really does such a nice job at that. So this is my favorite cleansing brush. Even on days when I'm not wearing any makeup, I still do my nighttime skincare routine and incorporate this brush in it. And then I also love the eye treatment brush for all of my eye creams, specifically eye creams that are thicker and more rich because this just gives you the most even beautiful application. And I also love that this fits really nicely into every part of your eye area, which by the way is so delicate. So this is a really nice addition. It feels really nice. The little brush cup with all your brushes, I mean the light lavender, it's just giving spa vibes. This looks beautiful on your vanity, in your bathroom. It's really just a nice addition to your routine. Routine. I highly recommend looking into skincare brushes. I will have everything linked for you guys down below, especially the Pinnacle Skin Brush. This is my favorite brush out of the bunch because it is so versatile and it's the best for skincare and skin prep before makeup. So definitely check it out and go show Anissa Beauty some love. I will have all the details in the description box below. And thank you so much, Anissa Beauty, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. 
Now let's get into the rest of the favorites. I have this Hydrate and Glow Dream Body Butter from Youth to the People. I love this brand, by the way. It is one of my favorite high-end skincare brands, but this body butter feels like a dream. It's so like just pillowy and moisturizing, hydrating, but not sticky. It doesn't feel heavy. And the scent is just very light, clean, fresh. And I typically love a good like warm and cozy vanilla kind of scent. This is a little bit different for me, but I love it because it is like a little citrusy and fresh. And I'm gonna show you a body spray that pairs perfectly with this. But if you want just a very thick, rich body butter that is not sticky, but that is extremely hydrating and it's hydration that actually lasts. Like I'll put this on in the evening, wake up the next day and my skin feels like butter. This is it. There's also a lot of good stuff in here. It says it visibly firms, brightens, there's 3% niacinamide, super berry extracts. Well, apparently lots of good stuff in here and I can feel it because as I'm applying it and just like in the evening, my skin just feels very pillowy and satiny and soft and delicious. So this is a really great body butter. I have been loving this in the evenings, especially after a good everything shower. And a body spray that pairs beautifully with it is the new Rare Beauty Fine Comfort Body and Hair Fragrance. This is Honestly, not a scent that I would typically go for, but I love everything about this. The mist is super fine. It's just very refreshing. My husband loves this scent because it's just light and it really is so comforting. It's not too strong, but it's strong enough. There's a little bit of citrusy in there, but it's not too much. You know, it's just a good combo. This right here, I know Rare Beauty does have a body lotion, but this is my favorite product out of the entire line. And I love to pair it with the body butter. It is delicious. I have more fragrances here. Something that I also really love is this Love Shack Fancy Forever in Love fragrance. This is for my fruity floral lovers out there this is also very long wearing that's why i love it and you don't need to use a lot of this it smells like a lunch date or a girl's day it, it just smells like a shopping trip it smells like all the girly fresh things the packaging is i mean stunning but the fragrance itself actually smells like a really delicious fruity floral basket that's gonna last all day. This is one of my most long wearing perfumes. Something that's a little bit more affordable, but still also really good is Mix Bar. You can get this brand at Target and they have some amazing fragrances. I love their hair and body mist. The Sparkling Hibiscus has been one of my go-tos. I actually really like this paired with the perfume. The Again, it's the Love Shack Fancy Forever in Love. This is a really nice combo because it's fruity, it's floral, it's just very fresh and sweet and girly, but not vanilla sweet. It's like fruity sweet, you know? So this one is Sparkling Hibiscus number seven. This pretty much smells like fruity berries, passion fruit, dragon fruit, like just all the fruity things. I always get compliments whenever I wear that. I also love to incorporate the Sparkling Hibiscus with the EOS Pomegranate granite raspberry moisturizer this is one of my favorite affordable moisturizers i always say it's kind of like a body butter in a body lotion form this is also not sticky it's very thick rich and creamy and it's just one of my all-time favorite things i recently actually just placed an order on their website and i got the fragrance free version so i can moisturize my body and use it with other perfumes to make them last longer because i feel like everybody needs a good fragrance free moisturizer and eos is really amazing i don't know how they do it but these are fabulous. They feel like very luxe on the body. Like I'm actually obsessed with them, but that's kind of like my little combo. I always like to mix different things. So again, the pomegranate raspberry works amazingly with the sparkling hibiscus because it just has that fresh, fruity, sweet vibe and they pair beautifully together. Another fragrance that I have been loving is the Mix Bar Vanilla Bourbon. This is vanilla with a twist. It's definitely vanilla, but it's not intoxicatingly sweet. It's almost just like a little musky, but it's not too powdery. Go to Target and just try it. They have like the little samples that you can try out, but this is a really Really good vanilla if you like vanilla but you don't like a very sweet vanilla another product I have is the plush pudding intensive recovery lip balm from Fenty skin I love Fenty skin their lip products are incredible and this is one of the most hydrating it almost feels like a medicated lip mask it is so thick and creamy I only like to use this in the evening because it is thicker I mean you could use it before makeup but wow before bed i will wake up sometimes in the middle of the night like if i use the bathroom or even the next day and i still feel like there's a little bit of the product left over that's how thick and intense this is it's very rich and luxurious and i feel like this is medicated if your lips are dry and cracking you put this on you wake up the next day and they feel amazing so this is a really good lip butter i mean i know you can just use aquaphor or something which i do love as well but this is like 
next level lip mask it actually works and it does a nice job at hydrating and repairing your lips my favorite nose contour powder it's from Haley's Beauty it's the re-sculpt smoothing contour powder in the shade light this is one of the most perfect contour shades that doesn't look gray but that is a little bit on the cool tone side without being too ashy on my skin it is perfection the formula is so smooth it blends really easily and it is the perfect nose contour bronzer truly if you have a very fair skin and you're looking for a contour shade which by the way contouring versus bronzing bronzing is going to give you a bronzy look as if you just got sun kissed going outside or something it's more on the warm side a contour color is just going to be more of a shadow so you want something that's a little bit more on the cool tone side which this bronzer is it so if you are more fair and you want a bronzer that is not so warm I think you would really like this I've tried this before on my face too it does work I usually prefer something a little bit more warm tone on my skin tone but for the nose I love the way this looks and it has such a good blend to it so it's really nice i also wanted to shout out the beauty bible which is carly bible's makeup line i did a review when this first came out and i actually really love her products but these are my two standouts from her makeup line this lip gloss specifically in dana and her highlighters let's talk about the gloss first this is for those of you who love that frosty sparkly very light color this formula is not super intense and glossy but it does give a really gorgeous sparkle it's a little bit thicker but I still think it looks really pretty in the center of your lip combos if you want something that's just a little bit more sparkly and frosty and light and I like these too because they just go on really smooth they're not gritty and this color is literally the best I wish that she would come out with more of these glitter shades because it's such a nice addition to any lip combo also the lip combo I'm wearing today I will have it down below in the description box because it's kind of like a little bit of everything but the elf lip oil in the shade honey talks is the best i already bought a backup of it because i love it so much it is so smooth it's not sticky and it is the perfect addition to pretty much anything lip liners lipsticks liquid lipsticks i'm wearing it today and it's so glossy and juicy this one out of all of them has some of the most pigment this one in jam session is really good i also love rose envy those are probably my top three favorites a lot of the other ones are very sheer they pretty much go on like a clear gloss but this one actually has a good amount of pigment and it's just a really good addition over lip liners and your favorite nude lip combos let's talk about some lip liners i love charlotte tilbury lip liners and i used to not really understand the hype but the reason why they are so iconic is because they're so long wearing iconic nude is my favorite shade i use this all the time i have so many of these in my purse little ones like i have little tiny ones i have backups of it it's the best just such a good nude that's neutral it's not too warm it's not too cool or ashy it's perfection and i recently discovered two new shades that i think are just so good first we have foxy brown foxy brown it is just that gorgeous perfect brown it's not too orangey and it just pairs so nicely with so many lighter nudes or darker nudes it's a beautiful formula i do find that these are best applied if your lips are hydrated make sure you hydrate your lips before your lip product you don't want to go in with dry lips with a lip liner but if you do have moisturized lips it's going to glide on beautifully and give you such good pigment i feel like even these two together just look beautiful together and then this is another color that i have been loving love trap this is a really nice kind of like rose nude it's a little bit more on the rose and deeper side than iconic nude but look at those shades this is such a nice color if you want something a little bit darker than iconic nude but you don't want to commit to something too dark and vampy i think on their website it's actually described as a peachy brown i don't really think this is peachy at all i think it's more like a neutral rose but it looks so good i have a combination of all different lip liners today but i just love the longevity of the lip liners and another newer favorite is the anastasia lip liner i see the hype with these you guys i wore this a couple times last week and this lasts so long and i have the color cool brown which i actually don't think is cool at all it's actually pretty warm it's a little bit deeper than foxy brown from charlotte tilbury and it's also a little bit more on the warm side but this is so long wearing these also come in beautiful colors they actually just sent me pr and i'm so excited because they sent me more colors i was so happy because i already wanted to buy more shades because i love the formula so much i like i said i've been wearing it and i'm so impressed with how long wearing it is and it's very creamy it's pigmented it doesn't smudge love these shades these right here are like my perfect 
shades for lip liner. Let's talk about some blushes. Oh, I forgot to actually, I forgot to touch on the Beauty Bible highlighter. This one is in Little Star. I love this in the inner corners because it's like frosty white silver shade. I don't have it on today just because again, it's gonna clash with my makeup look, but the texture of these is insane. It feels like a cream, just dewy, doughy kind of highlighter but look at the pigment it's actually insane but when it goes on it makes your skin just look very wet and smooth there is no chalkiness there's no powdery formula to this it is just a buttery smooth highlighter it almost goes on like a cream but when you blend it it's like a powder it is absolutely stunning this would look even so beautiful all over your lids if there's one thing that you get from her line let it be the highlighters i think the formula is very luxe i love the shades but this one is my absolute favorite but i'm definitely actually thinking about repurchasing some of the other colors because i feel like they would make for beautiful blush toppers as well and i have two blushes that i wanted to mention that i've been loving i'm wearing them today i don't have any cream blush underneath because with these it's not necessary this is the ambient lighting blush in sublime flush from hourglass i think this is my all-time favorite high-end blush i really do i mean something about this these come in other colors but this formula is beyond luxury to be honest the way that this goes on it's like smooth and it's like a veil and it gives you a, the most healthy natural glow while giving you the perfect amount of pigment if my makeup ever looks blah i will just add this blush and it just takes it there it takes it to the level it makes the makeup look pop and this is like the most perfect color again sublime flush i just love it i don't have anything bad to say about this it is my perfect peachy pink blush and then i recently did a full face of jc beauty makeup and i did not know that jc had this many amazing brands but they do so definitely check out that video if you have not seen it but i discovered this rms beauty redimension powdered blush in the shade my tie this is pretty much like the house labs highlighter where it's going to give you a little glow it's going to give you some color i mixed this in today with hourglass it goes on again very smooth without any glitter or powdery residue it gives you a little bit of glow so an extra highlighter is not necessary and look at that color it's the perfect orangey golden glowy blush i love it it builds up really nicely but it still can be very subtle if you don't want too much the combination is just perfection i love to apply these blushes with my anisa beauty tapered highlighter brush because it disperses the product so effortlessly and it gives you such a smooth seamless application i just cannot get enough of these individually but together they're also a really pretty combo this is going to be the the go-to combo for me for the spring and summertime it is perfection and i just love how smooth it goes on the skin i mean like come on are you kidding it's so good let's talk about some accessories and shoes so i want to talk about a little anklet combo that i have been wearing and this is my first time taking it off since i got this anklet combo <laughs> i shower with this i put lotions on and i don't take them off and they're still in mint condition the first anklet is from amazon it is beautiful every time i get a pedicure i always get compliments in this because it looks more expensive than what it actually is but the quality on this is actually amazing like i said i mean given the fact that i never take this off it still looks so sparkly and pretty it's so beautiful on its own, but I love to pair it with this Miranda Fry anklet. Miranda Fry jewelry has some of the best quality jewelry. I'm telling you, I have some of my pieces from like years ago, literally 2020, and I still wear them. They're still in mint condition. The necklace is actually from Miranda Fry today. This little ear cuff, it's not available anymore, sadly. I hope they get it back because it's really good, but this is also Miranda Fry. A lot of my rings that I love are from Miranda Fry as well, but their anklets are so good. And they're one of those things where you put them on and you don't have to worry about constantly taking it off because the quality is going to remain the same. And I love the way this thicker gold anklet looks with the tennis anklet from Amazon. It's so beautiful, it just makes it pop. They have some thinner ones as well, but if you want some new reliable jewelry pieces, Marina Fry is where it's at. They have a lot of good layering things and just good staples that you can wear for every day as well. So highly recommend. But yeah, I just wanted to shout out this little anklet combo because I know we're slowly but surely getting there into the warmer months, but I always love to wear an anklet all year round. It's just like little things that I feel like just I just love you know it's like my mom always says if you have nothing on but just jewelry 
you're good to go and you're ready for the day now let's talk about shoes i got these from amazon and i cannot wait to style these with more outfits these are so freaking cute i want them in more colors they have them in pink and red brown i love the silver detailing these look so good with jeans and these shoes i feel like just elevate any basic outfit and then you add some jewelry and it just looks like you tried but you really didn't so i definitely want these in pink and red because they are the perfect statement shoe they're not too high they're actually pretty comfortable I mean, you know, they're heels, so they're not going to be like wearing slides, but they're one of my most comfortable heels that I own. I absolutely love them. And these are another pair of heels that I love from Mark Fisher. I got these over a year ago. I wear these a lot. I have them in a couple different colors. You can get Mark Fisher on Amazon, but also on Macy's. I've seen them before. I have these in orange. I have these in pink, but the brown is actually one of my most used because I have a lot of brown clothing and it's just a good neutral, but I also love these because they're not super uncomfortable. They're not too high and they're not too pointy they're just a good strappy pointy little pump so love those i got mine on amazon but again you can also get them on macy's as well so those are all of my current favorites i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what products you guys are loving down below in the comments random food body care skincare leave me all your favorites and don't forget to show anisa beauty some love check out the skincare brushes the pinnacle skin brush you guys are gonna love it it has been my favorite addition to my skincare routine so check them out thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with me and i cannot wait to see you in my next one bye